Hello and welcome to week three of Powerful Pivot Table Applications for Research Administration, our five-week NCURA YouTube Tuesday series. I'm Dan McNamara, Director of Development at SmarterAdmin.com. So far in this series, we've shown you how to get up and running with pivot tables and shown you how to easily create your own incredible custom reporting, but we've created a problem for ourselves, a problem we have to address this week in week three. And this is a problem we've all seen whenever we've been ambitious enough to create a new report. Each time you create a new custom report, you burden your future self with the time and effort it will take to maintain that custom report moving forward. Simply put, with poor report design, the more custom reports you ambitiously create, the more work you are putting on your own plate. And there's nothing more frustrating than having your ambition rewarded with more work and more headaches. But with pivot tables, however, there is a zero effort way to maintain your reports. But to do this, there is one critical report design tip you have to know from the start, and that's this. Match your data sets column order one-to-one -one with your future data sets column order. Simply put, make sure that when you paste in future data, that the column order is the same between the new data and the old data. And this is so simple but so critical, it will save you hours, even days each month. Because if you can match your columns one-to-one -one with future data sets, refreshing your pivot table reports each month is as easy as pasting in the data and clicking refresh. But to see this zero effort maintenance method in action, let's take a look at a live data set. And let's say we've downloaded our transaction extracts from our source system. I'm sure your source system has some version of what we call the transaction extract. It's a list of your transactions. And this transaction extract is a great place to get started building a pivot table. Now you've watched the first two weeks of this YouTube Tuesday series and you realize that you want to get more reporting, more power out of this transaction extract. So you set up an amazing expenditure visualization dashboard using pivot tables. And you put a lot of time designing this amazing report. And the last thing you want is to have to reinvent the wheel each month when you need to refresh it. Well, let's update it the zero effort way. Let's say it's April 1st and you receive a notification that March data is available for download in the system, your manager comes to you and asks, can you update that amazing expenditure visualization dashboard with March's data? How long do you think it's going to take you? Do you think you can get it done in a few hours, maybe a few days? Let's do it in seconds. So here is March's data set, and look at how the columns match up one-to-one -one with the data set powering our pivot table. Award in column A, PI in column B, expense category in C, the same as the data set powering our pivot table, award in A, PI in B, expense in C. This is that incredibly critical report design tip of matching your column order. Because when our column order lines up one to one between our data sets, I can just copy the new data, March's data paste it into the bottom of the data set powering our pivot table, go to our pivot, right click, and hit refresh. Look how incredible that is, there is March's data. Now, that's so fast that you might have missed it, so let's do it again, let's do it with April's data too. So, here is April's data, we fast forwarded a month, you get the request, hey, can you update that amazing dashboard now with April's data, how long will it take you, hours, days, no, It'll take seconds. Copy the new month data, now April's data. Go to the data set powering your pivot table. Make sure that the column order matches award in A, P, I, and B. Paste in April's data. Go to your pivot, right click, and hit refresh. And there it is. There's April's data. It didn't take till the end of the week or days or even hours. We just updated it in seconds. And look how smart and amazing the pivot table is. It automatically grabs and preserves the formatting, the report structure, the custom summarizing, everything. All that work we put in, it automatically applies to the new data. It even looks like we had a new PI, Ben Apple, come on board, and it automatically pulled this new PI in for you. And look how smart that is. And here is what's incredible. When maintaining your custom reports goes from taking days to taking seconds, you can be free to build out an unbelievable suite of reports to eliminate all of your day-to-day -day headaches. And each new report you add will save you more and more time the more you use it, meaning you can finally start to get out from behind the eight ball 
with your own customized reporting suite. That's all for this week. We went through the zero effort way to maintain pivot tables and showed you how building up an impressive suite of pivot table reports can save you more and more time the more you use them. Next week, we're going to talk about jaw-droppingly easy grant closeouts with pivot tables. Thank you for watching. See you next week.